I'm always so anxious. I can't deal with the fear of being next to another human. Please just protect yourselves. You have to wash your hands. You have to you have to wear your mask. You have to you have to keep to social distancing. Hey, hey guys. I don't usually do these things, but I just saw something that made me feel like, like, I don't know, reaching out? I don't even know what I wanna say. All I know is there's a lot going on in me. And I guess there's a lot going on in all of us. I haven't been like really viscerally, tangibly, I guess, allowing myself to see that other people out there are hurting too. What I just saw just made me feel like it's okay to feel overwhelmed. This girl in Africa, I think, she just poured her heart out to the world. And that made me feel like maybe it's okay to do the same, to open up. So here goes. I'm HIV positive and I'm a gay black man living in the ATL. Got it cut out for me. So COVID hits and what scares me the most about all of this is, is shit. How am I supposed to get out of the house and get my damn ARVs? Am I gonna get COVID too? Is it, is it gonna be worse for me because I'm HIV positive? They say it's the same for all of us, but I'm still scared. You were right. You were right about everything. What happened? <sighs> I tried to listen to you. I really did. But, but he just kept calling. How's it going? Every time I would look at that damn vision board, I felt more and more desperate. So I met with him. Oh, my love. And he took me shopping. He was so decent. I mean, the perfect gentleman. Masks and everything. He dropped me off at home with a whole new wardrobe. He didn't try to touch me, didn't try to kiss me. So I thought I could trust him. Of course he did. Yesterday, he made me dinner at his house. This huge mansion thing. He went all out. It was like something out of a movie. Candles everywhere, fairy lights, food I'd never seen before. Oh. There was even a waiter, a guy singing on the guitar. I felt like, like royalty. Oh, I was so stupid. What happened, Pagan? <laughs> he... He had sex with me. <laughs> I didn't want to. I really didn't. But I didn't know what to say and he had done all this stuff. Oh, do you know? I, I hated every filthy second of it. I'm so sorry. Uh, Pokang, did he... Did he use a condom? No, I, I, I asked him to, but he wouldn't. I just should have listened to you. I feel so, so stupid. 
stupid. Oh, no, no, you weren't. You hear me. You were manipulated. You were violated. This is not your fault. But at least you're on prep, so... No! I thought... Not anymore. I stopped taking it just before the lockdown because I knew I wouldn't be seeing anyone. Um, okay. Okay, um, that's fine. We can get this sorted out, okay? I know you're going through a lot right now, but you need to go to the clinic right now, as soon as you can. You need to test for HIV and get on PEP. What's that? It's post-exposure prophylaxis. It's these pills that you have to take for 28 days if you think you may have potentially been exposed with HIV. You need to start on it within 72 hours. The sooner the better. Every hour counts. I can't. I can't even get out of bed. I know. I know. I know it hurts. I know you just want to bury yourself into a hole and never come out. I know. But you know what? We're going to create a safe, warm space for you to go in and heal. And I'll be right in there with you. But for now, you need to go to the clinic. We need to make sure that you're safe. And you need to get on emergency contraceptives. Dinell, you don't have to do all of this for me. I mean, you've got your own stuff. I know. But when we're done with your safe space, we'll create one for me too. Okay? For now, first things first. I've got you. Hey, yo, man. Uh, yeah, I was, I was just on your page. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, uh, you got like what, fifty-seven followers? You gotta do better, bro. <laughs> And how many you got? Like, 12? Hey, hey, we talking about you here, OK? Uh, you brought up the numbers. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, well, now you got 58. She wasn't following me before? What is wrong with you? All right, listen, I'm going to be real with you for a second, all right? I was watching your live, and, and uh, that, that was some real shit, you know? Opening up and shit, strong. I respect that. Thank you, cuz. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I know I haven't been like, you know, receptive or whatever, or making much of a real effort, but I just want you to know that I, I recognize you, I hear you, I see you. So yeah. Thanks, man. And just so you know, you're not the only one who gets scared. I get scared too. <laughs> you do? I know that I got you and I got Jen, so that's what makes me feel strong. And <laughs> my woman's a frontline worker. Okay, she's facing COVID every single day, risking her life for the rest of this country. When I saw that African lady say all that stuff in that video, I shed a young tear for Jen. So yeah, I'm scared. But hey, we got each other, right? So let's do that. Let's hold each other down. Let's hold each other down. Whatever you need, man, I'm here. All right, let's put our masks on. Let's get down to the hospital, get them ARVs, right? And if some punk try to start some of that stigma shit with you, they got to deal with me, all right? All right. Thank you. I got you. But before we do all of that, what do you say we meet up in the lounge? In the lounge? In the lounge. Are you serious? Yeah, video game, some pepperoni and double cheese. <laughs> OK, yeah, all right. At this time, you ain't leaving me just three misia slices, OK? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, OK, OK, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions about COVID-19, text the word COVID to plus four one seven nine eight 
931-892 on WhatsApp. For more information about coronavirus or related issues, visit mtvsugar.com forward slash alone together. Terms and conditions apply.